Welcome back, Reapers, Ascendants, and Architects. Uh, to this is going to be another Reaping Report. This Reaping Report is going to cover January, and as usual, we're going to cover all the things you're going to want to know about Reaper, Ascension, and Arc Tokens uh, when it comes to uh, a layout as what happened this last month and some of the news. Uh, we're going to get into all of it and see where we stand uh, and compare to the past. Uh, but without further ado, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll get started. So first, let's go ahead and take a look at where we stand. Uh, kind of cover the price a bit more just to make sure I could show where we were at. So I can, you know, look into some uh, some people and say, I told you so <laughs> back in the days. But, um, you know, here's here's where we're at. And again, none of this is financial advice, but... Uh, the Reaper coin is at uh, whopping uh, almost four cents, and you can see the chart here over the last uh, year. Uh, it's been, it's well, everything has been sideways for the market, but uh, yeah, this is where we're at. And Ascension, uh, since it launched about two months ago, uh, is starting to level out, which is good, because uh, that's why we know where we're at. And as well as Arc is uh, just newly launched, but not even sure it has 60 days in the market, but um, it was out January 1st, or I have till January 1st, at least on this chart. So that's where that's at. And we're sitting at about uh, almost of almost a, just over a third of a cent. So again, really early opportunity. But uh, let's get into the reaping report. So if you're not familiar with the Reaper Financial and what it does, and it's three different ARC tokens, uh, one of my most popular videos um, is uh, this video right here, the seven layer passive income video. And if you don't know what the reaping is, uh, it's kind of expanded a little since, but this video covers uh, kind of the beginning knowledge of it. Uh, but either, like I highly recommend this one, but this one is still good. Um, let's get into the schedule here. So the, the events we're going to take a look at happen on uh every other saturday right now so the votes happen two days prior and so we just went through believe that is the uh 12th and 13th are the vote and the 14th is the uh the reaping the drip the rain and the deluge as they're calling it and then the same thing for uh believe that is the 26th the 27th and the 28th and so this are going to be the uh, the dates that we're going to be referring to as we go down and we talk about what happened during those days. So, and again, this is for January 2023. Uh, and this is the breakdown of the reaping report. So uh, there were two reapings this month, as you saw previously in the calendar. And every month, uh, Reaper increases its max supply by 1 million RPR tokens. And then it is divided between the different Reapings, these two different events uh, that are happening this month uh, on those two Saturdays. Basically, the Reaping happens here and here. And so do all these other events that we're going to cover. So you can see they have the 14th and the 28th that we just referred to up on the calendar. And so the million RPR tokens are divided. Uh, into these two different events on these two different days. So one event and two event. And uh, 500,000 were sold uh, for around 47,000 and change XRP and 43,000 and change XRP. You can see the exchange rates there. And now let's take a look at how much we got uh, for the reapings. We got around 20,000 uh, XRP for both the uh, reapings. So eventually that's going to go towards your debt or go, to, or go towards the different tokens that you vote on to destroy. So, and also we have around 680 and 647 uh, is going towards Reaper Financial, which of course aligns them to their community and helps to create a better system for uh, the future because they are benefiting from the same system. And we have the 25% going towards uh, the what's called the DRIP, which is the Distributed Reaper Interest Payment, where us as RPR to token holders get the different uh, the XRP as a passive income directly to us. And then we have the same amounts going into the trust fund, roughly. So uh, that is the reaping report for the Reaper. Let's move on to Ascension and see what it did this month. 
And again, every month, just as Reaper, Ascension creates a million Ar Ascension tokens. And then it is divided between the different uh, reapings, um, is what we're calling them. This happens at the same time. Uh, but also, a thousand, uh, no, sorry, a hundred thousand Ascension goes to the stake X pool. So, again, that's why I make sure to, if you don't know what that is, check out this seven layer passive income video up here and it will uh, help you out. Links will be in the description. So, looks like, uh, oh, let's finish explaining it first. So, a million tokens were minted. And then the AS Ascension generated is split between the different Ascensions, uh, the same time as the Reapings, as I just explained, uh, per month, and sold at market rate uh, for XRP on the day of the Ascension. So 450,000 Ascension tokens were sold for roughly around 5,000 XRP each time, and uh, the following were done with them. So around 2,000 uh, went each time, went. I guess that's a little bit over 2,000, almost 3,000, one of those times. Uh, XRP was sold and bought off different tokens uh, that meet Reaper's criteria and were voted on. And those will be airdropped to Ascension holders. It's kind of like a decentralized mutual fund for those of you who are not familiar with this. Um, the other half of the XRP is then uh, distributed by 25 and 25% each way and is actually an additional... Uh, passive income boost to RPR holders. And that goes to the drip stimulus. And the other side is an amount that goes to the Reaper Trust Fund. So unless you're, but these two will not count for you unless you are holding Reaper. So you have to hold this token to benefit from the latter half of Ascension. So they kind of are uh, symbiotic in a way. Um, we're going to go next to the ARC breakdown. And so this is the first month for ARC. And a huge congratulations to the Reaper uh, Financial as well as the ARC Institute for doing great things for charities. Because uh, just as I said before, ARC is disrupting charitable donations. And you should go check out that video, uh, which is entitled ARC Disrupts Charitable Donations. And you will find great information there. Uh, but let's take a look at how it works. Uh, it's very similar to Reaper and Ascension, but this is going to help charities and you. So good stuff. Every month, uh, uh, I guess I have to change that. It says Ascension. It's actually supposed to be ARC. Uh, ARC token increases its max supply by 1 million ARC tokens. And then it is divided between the reapings, uh, or I guess I've suggested calling this the Genesis event for ARC because that would just kind of make some sense. But uh, basically, the event where these funds are created or that these funds are sold is what we're talking about here, and it's just and it is used in the following ways. So, uh, ARC is generated and split between uh, the charitable foundation donations and your passive income, and apparently I need to redo that too. So remember that, James. Uh, <laughs> but uh, again, you can see the five hundred thousand were sold uh, for these equivalent amounts of XRP. And then this amount of XRP uh, is sold for, I believe, USDC and then given out to as donations to the different charities based on the vote. And then the rest, 25% of the XRP created, uh, is used to purchase uh, Ascension tokens at market and at market price and then distribute the ARC to the ARC holders based on the percentage of the supply they hold. And the other 25% does the exact same thing, except for Reaper tokens. So you can see that this is just starting off. Uh, let's compare these two real quick. Let's compare these amounts. Uh, so we got around 3,000, 4,000 XRP and 5,000 XRP. And it looks like Ascension and uh, ARC are around the same. And then, of course, Reaper has been around about a year. So <laughs> people get the idea of where it's going. And what it's doing, I wonder how long it'll take for people to realize these two. Um, but we're at 43,000. Is that roughly double? No, that's almost, uh, gosh, not even quadruple. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a multiple. It's like 10x that almost. So really cool. Um, but yeah, that's ARC. And if you're wondering where I get all, these inf all this information, this is actually me pulling from the different... Uh, graphics that Reaper and ARC Institute put out 
every time they do this process. And so I am just copying paste it here and putting the same information above. If you're ever looking for a source of truth, my videos, uh, because I'm copying information, might sometimes have mistakes. I always encourage people go to the source, always do your own research and go to and follow the Twitter for uh, Reaper Financial. Where they were put where they will post these things as well as arc arc institute on their twitter feed um, but you can see here this is where the uh, different tokens were voted on and destroyed uh, because debt reaping is not uh, available at the moment uh, but i do have an update on that for you so do stick around on that uh, but you can see the arc token got a very significant 48 percent of the vote and uh looks like nine 924,000 and change were destroyed, if I'm reading that correctly. So, wow, amazing reaping for ARC. Um, and that means also that Ascension dropped ARC tokens to everyone, I believe, as well. Uh, and all of these other tokens were destroyed, for anyone who's listening. They're just destroyed based on the percentage of votes they get, just as your debt will be destroyed based on the number of vote it, votes it gets. And you get one vote per RPR you hold. So look out for that and look out for my other videos on debt reaping coming out very soon. Um, the uh, the Ascension is the same. You can see, yep, the ARC tokens were delivered uh, and they actually bought uh, 88,000 and distributed uh, this amount per Ascension token that you held, as well as all the others. Um, I don't cover the stake X on here because it's kind of different from everyone. Uh, but additional to that, we also had the um, the Reaper. I guess this is the the different funds that I that I use to go up and it, I put these this information. I just break it down more visually uh, up here for you. So that's what this is. If you're wondering, uh, I know the scrolling might get to you. I apologize. Uh, the next is uh, oh, also we had the first arc. Uh, deluge and donations happen during this time. I'm actually going to cover more of the donations down below and talk about them a little bit. Uh, but you'll be able to see there. I do want to pause just for the video real quick and uh, zoom in for posterity, so to speak, about what these things were and how much was what, just in case uh, any conflicting information ever comes out. Uh, so you can pause here and look at the ascension. And then you could pause here to look at the overall funds and so on and so forth and where we're at. Uh, cool. And then here is the, let's stop, hide that for real quick. There we go. And this is the ARC Institute uh, where their numbers are at. So you can see around 4,000 funds there. Again, the same information was copied to the top. And uh, you can see all the, 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 the transaction fees there from, I believe, the bank account. So. Next, we have the uh, the second reaping ascension, and uh, I guess what I'm going to call the Genesis event for now, uh, where they have uh, looks like Arc also won uh, 37 percent, so it's falling, but people are still reaping the mess out of this thing. Like, oh my gosh, over looks like over a million and one and a half million maybe between both of them. Yeah, looks like over one and a half million. Uh, so kudos to the Reaper community for realizing that opportunity. That's pretty awesome. Um, and then, of course, Arc Ascension gave out Arc tokens to everyone. So also amazing. Uh, I'll just pause here so you can take a look at the. Of course, as the Deluge, which is what they're calling that event, I guess. It has Innocence Project. Oh, it actually shows the different, uh, this new graphic actually shows the different uh, donations and where they went and the calculations behind that. So that's really awesome. All right. So, and this is the other graphic. I guess I'll just go ahead and since I did before, I'll zoom in so people can stop and look if they want to. All right. And we'll move on to the drip, which is the passive income. Uh, I'll just go into it here real quick. Every time the reaping occurs, 50% of the reaping goes towards the distributed reaper interest payment, AKA the drip. 
and the drip is a passive income for Reaper holders who hold the RPR token in their ZUM wallets. Uh, I believe I thought they mentioned that there was going to be another wallet that they supported here recently, but uh, as soon as I confirm that, I will get back to you. Uh, but just a note to myself, and please, community, remind me to, to get that information. Uh, but these are the two sections we talked about here before, the distributed Reaper interest payment. This is where I'd like to stop and take a look at the progress of the drip to see if it's gone up, to see if it's gone down, to see if this passive income is really growing or not over time. And uh, you'll be able to see here in a second that actually it is. <laughs> so uh, this is where I compared the last most recent ones. And so this is last month's December the last reaping strip payment and you can see for every rpr you held you received 0 0.00007797 uh xrp and so that has gone up to 0 .000, 0 0.0001 and change xrp and then it's gone up to uh 11 so it's went up further so we are seeing an increase uh, in the drip stimulus and a passive income in XRP over time. And now we'll go down and just show you the uh, where we get the the history here. So this is from the first drip stimulus, drip stimulus, uh, all the way down to where we are now. And so we just got done with the 23rd at the last uh, event in January, and you can see that information uh, is the same up here. So just FYI. Looks like last month uh, there were three, and we can see a, a decrease uh, from the 14 there, but we had three different reapings. Uh, so the XRP was divided by uh, three reapings instead of two. So now we can see an increase of kind of where we're actually at now in terms of being equal to that previous month of 14. We're still a little bit less, but uh, you know, it's still an upward progression from the previous month. So just in terms of how I count that there. All right. So now we have the distributed Reaper interest bearing account. And so the distributed Reaper interest bearing account or the drip account uh, is a trust fund that uh, all of the XRP that happens, 25% uh, of it goes into this trust fund. And now when this trust fund uh, bears interest, more than the drip stimulus, what's going to happen is that interest bearing account will become the drip and this 25% that happens every time will get added, uh, becoming 50% into the interest bearing account. Uh, but let's look at again, the last, uh, th this is December's last reaping, uh, where we saw them getting combined. And this is uh, January, uh, the, the two reapings in January here. So we see that uh, the last one in December had around 8,000, and we see the uh, two in January here had between almost uh, 12 or 13,000, depending. And we can see the breakdown between what the RPR drip gave, as well as the boost that Ascension drip gave it. So again, you have to be holding RPR uh, to receive the drip or the passive income in XRP. Um, and we also see the status of the reaping, uh, sorry, the interest bearing account. Where is this interest? I believe this is actually not, uh, oh, it says safe harbor down here. So I believe that they're still in safe harbor, but this is the status of how much is in that account. So we have 133,000 XRP, uh, roughly 52,000 uh, USD at the time, and uh, you about 102. Uh, thousand USDC coin. Uh, so you can see that up there, and you can see it increasing to 10, uh, 110 USDC there, as well as 134. So it's always good to see that trust fund increasing and that potential uh, combining there. Uh, but we'll move on to the news, to the news, Batman. All right. So I uh, got a status report on. Uh, how the uh, reaping debt was coming along. And apparently, Patrick says, we are in alpha testing now. And they're testing internally. So hopefully, beta will begin, hopefully, by the time uh, shortly after you hear this video. Or, you know, we'll get another update probably a week after. Or so I imagine if, if they're running into more issues. But I don't expect that. I think they've got it tightened up. And so 
Uh, really excited to hear about alpha testing. And of course, next is beta and then you guys. So um, guys and gals, should I say. Um, also, uh, there was this other post that I wanted to cover. This is something you should be able to expect in Reaper news coming up that uh, Reaper has always been a transparent company. So it says quick update for Q1 2023. The annual report will come in January. Uh, XRP, XRP net partnership listing mid January. And then the first deluge, which we already saw that I just reported on, which is the ARC passive income and the donations to charity. Uh, the Ascension white paper version two, haven't seen that yet, but we'll happily uh, show that to you whenever it happens, as well as the ARC white paper version two, which I cannot imagine if they're already changing or upgrading ARC when it's only been released a month. So really exciting to see both of those apparently coming. Uh, oh, it says Q1. So maybe maybe not as quick, but we're in almost in February as I'm shooting this January 31st. So only about a month or two to go for either of those things, it would seem. And the debt reaping update coming soon by video, uh, which I believe if this is, that was January 5th. So I believe that already came out. Uh, but they said they'll probably do another video uh, whenever they have more to say. So stay tuned. Uh, also, the first Reaper convention is planned uh, in April or May. So I think they're trying to find a location. But if you held, if you hold a a Reaper NFT uh, by the Reaper Financial, uh, believe that that is admission to yours, you or your family, uh, depending. So stick around and stay tuned for more information about that. And more booms. Yes, we always want more booms. More and more booms. All right. And the next is uh, Patrick. I'll just go down here. He says that if you think debt reaping is a big paradigm shift, and it is, uh, which is where we kill your debt, if for those of you who are new, um, wait until you understand what phase, I believe that's 12, means for humanity. And of course, uh, if anyone can solve this problem and what it means, uh, this is Patrick's favorite uh, phase, by the way, as he's been quoted. Uh, but he gave this hint uh, about the phase 12 formulation. Uh, I have tried to figure it out. I have swung and missed. I've gotten close from what I've heard, but uh, I'm not going to tell you my guesses. Uh, but for those of you out there who have friends who are good at equations and maths, I am not, <laughs> unfortunately. But there is that. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you've solved it and what it is. And uh, maybe some extra kudos to you for uh, apparently, anyone who wants to join the Reaper team, if you can solve this and what it means, uh, you will be uh, in line to be hired by Reaper Financial. So anyone who's looking, <laughs> eventually. Uh, also, the XRP net uh, Reaper is listed, apparently. So uh, Reaper Coin is live on the XRP net app. So just another avenue where you can purchase Reaper token. I might have to uh, figure that out for you guys in a bit. So we'll see. The 14th uh, ARC donations, uh, this is the all the different donations that happened on the 14th of January. These are the confirmations that happened by ARC Institute. Now you can follow their Twitter, as of course these are screenshots from there, and you can go see where they are posting the receipts of these different donations. Uh, like I said, Reaper Financial and ARC Institute are one of the, are the most transparent uh, companies I think I've seen in the space in terms of uh, their public transparency and proving of what they're doing. So um, you can go, of course, verify all their reapings and what you have on the blockchain and they have their wallets listed on uh, their websites. But yeah, you can also see the different donations here. So 148. And by the way, this is the first time that they have given donations. This is the like the little three. Where is it? Arc. Sitting at a whopping third of a cent, a third of a cent gave, go back to here real quick, a third of a cent is the price. And we gave $148 to Raising Men Lawn Care. We gave, with a third of a cent, we gave, I don't, I don't know where the, uh, the the price is on there. I'm just going to continue my rants down here. Um with a third of a cent, we gave 282 and 11 USD to, what is this? Uh, mobile loaves and fishes. We gave a, with a third of a cent, with the power of a third of a cent, we gave 
$148.60 to Battle Dogs. And that's, I mean, that's just the absolute first time this event that sold tokens did that. I mean, I don't know what that equates to. Like, 148, I think this one was like 200. I captured the wrong screenshot. So 148, 200, roughly 300, and 200. So it's around $1,000 the first time. Split up between four different charities. The first time that this has happened. Amazing. And I think it's going to be even more powerful. So I hope that these charities know uh, and know what's going on. And I hope that someone will tell them. If you have other charities you want to suggest to the ARG Institute, uh, I know they're only going to take on so many, and it's really hard to get past all their gates uh, and their criteria. But still, the power of this, I cannot wait to cover this and to see the receipts as things progress. So again, kudos to the team. Uh, kudos to Reaver Financial. Uh, let's move on to the 28th to see what another power of a third of a cent did. Um, so 391 USD to the Innocence Project. 129.98 to... Uh, what is this? Mobile Loaves and Fishes. $252 to Battle Dogs and 128 So this is these are not combined with the 14th, by the way. These are individuals, from my understanding. So these are each individual transactions based on the votes of your ARC tokens. So if you are a charity, if you are a individual, if you are a company and you are interested in giving, like this is the new way to do it like it is totally going to usurp normal donations why would you put your 20 dollars you have and and give it to someone i know that there's immediate needs i'm not saying that donations directly cannot be helpful and again none of this is financial advice i'm just saying that like why in the world would you just give one time when there's a power here that chooses the most optimum place to put your to put those donations and to really affect real change. And then again, the power of the market helping to it, not what's the word snowball effect almost. I mean, potentially this could snowball into massive donations to these limited charities, really helping them to beef up their projects. So, uh, and by the way, these are not charities that people are collecting on. These are, Charities where the money is going to the people, going to the cause. So it's extremely exciting. I cannot, I'm, I cannot get more passionate about this. Uh, for those who want to do good in the world, ARC token is an amazing way for you to benefit and for charities. Uh, because ARC will give you a passive income and Reaper token as well as Ascension. Uh, and it's a great way uh, to focus your uh, portfolio. Again, not financial advice, but it's a, it's a very powerful little token for this ecosystem. And uh, I don't think people have caught on to exactly how powerful yet. I think that people are going to catch on very soon. Uh, but I think that, and hopefully I believe in the good of humanity, that uh, as soon as people figure out what this is, not only for themselves, but for charities and, the, and doing good in the world, I think it'll be pretty amazing. So uh, I'm a proud owner, that's for sure. Uh, this has been the Reaping Report for January 2023. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your thoughts are about, about ARC in its first month. Uh, let me know what charities you've told about it. Let me know, you know if you've told your companies about it. Let me know what, you, what, let me know what they're thinking. Uh, a, this is a lot. This ecosystem is a lot to wrap your head around. And uh, I think I'm going to be doing some things that, uh, and shooting some videos here, hopefully soon, that will help to bring this to a more corporate level uh, and to, you know, and to be more presentable, to, not just a, a YouTube video like I normally do that's extremely casual. Uh, but I appreciate those, all of you who stick around. Uh, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'm JTXRP. Thank you again for your watching, and I'm out.